Using the iPrint and Label app, what you want to do is just go ahead and select, of course, the media that you want to do. In iPrint and Label, you have to define what size label because you are creating the specific label. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and specify that we want a 0.94 inch label. We can either set the length of the label if we want to, or we can automatically let it format it for us. Portrait just basically states, do we want it going portrait? Do we want it going landscape? How do we want the, that design to look? For this example, I'm just going to leave it at 0.94 inches and let it automatically format that label for me. Now we can go ahead and add anything that we want to. And here we can add our text box. And we can add as many text boxes as we want to. So I'll just type in the word brother here and we'll select done and we've got our text. Now that we have our text, there's a multitude of different things that we can do here. We can go ahead and select the font and there's all these different features that you have in the font. If we wanted to do a reverse print, we could do that reverse print. If you wanted to change the font size, you can do that in this area as well. If you wanted non-bold or if you wanted bold or italicized or underlined, if you wanted to move the font or move the image over, all that is right here. You can also adjust the font type in here or the properties of that. For this example, I'm just going to leave it as is and resize that by selecting the corner and dragging it down. Now, you're going to see that it automatically resizes the font and it resizes the label too because we have it set up as automatic. I want to go in here, I want to add a barcode. We can add a, any kind of barcode that it calls up here. We have code 39, code 128, EAN, UCC, QR codes. For this example, we'll just do a QR code and we'll do it at www.brothermobilesolutions.com. And we'll select done. Now we can go ahead and resize this QR code, drag it over to where we want that to be. Of course, we want to keep it inside the lines. Brother is a little big, so we'll just go ahead and shrink that down so we can move this over. And if we want to put it over here, it'll automatically resize that label for us as well. This is outside of the margin, so we'll just move that brother label over there. Now we can add other information too. If we wanted to put an import a symbol, we could import a symbol. There are a ton of different label symbols that we can use. So we'll find just a standard facility symbol here, and we'll add that in here. We can resize that symbol however we want to make this label design. Once you have your label designed, you can go ahead and select that Save button. You save it as whatever you want to. Before we hit Save, I also want to show you that you can go ahead and select from an image. You can take an image with your photo, just like with your mobile device. Select Photo with Camera, take it with the camera in your device, and import that directly into there. Or select an image that you brought in from online that was either emailed to you or, or whatnot. So that is another thing that you could do. So we're just going to go ahead and move this over for this sample. And go ahead and print and show you how that works. Now we can go ahead and add more QR codes, more barcodes, more text boxes, however we want to design it. We have all that freedom right here in that mobile app. So I just want to go ahead and print this to show you exactly what we could do with this. When you're done with your label design, hit save. It'll always be there unless you actually go in and delete that from the mobile app. So here is that label design that we just created.